welcome to take 50. I'm actually considering putting bloopers in this. It's taken me that long. Yeah, so uh, long story short, cutting straight to it. Um, I was on Facebook last week. <clears throat> a guy had posted on there, on a Drones UK group that I'm part of, just saying, uh, asking for advice really, whether he should get the Mavic Mini or the Mavic Air 2. Now, I originally didn't see this. Uh, because if I had, I would have always said go for the Air 2, go for the more expensive one. For me, the Mavic Mini is just, it's really light, it's a selfie drone. Jesus fucking pieces of shit! Ultimately, like, with that, he's gone for the Mavic Mini, he's gone for the cheaper option because he's new to it, which is fair enough. Um, he's pretty much had it one day, and then the post that I seen um, was pretty much to the effect of, do does the Mavic Mini flow? So, I've seen this post and sort of got involved and said, you know, why, what's happened? We've got talking, he said, he pressed return to home and it didn't. So I've said, well, look, if you've got the care refresh, which he did with DJI, they'll replace it, even if you can't retrieve it, if it's a an issue with the software or a flyaway or something like that, they will. You've just got to prove to them that, um, that it was a problem with the software or whatever, that it was their liability. So, with that, basically, he sent me the flight logs for that flight. And I've sort of determined, I'll post these up in a minute, um, that it was pilot error, unfortunately. He sent it out, that's all happened, and he's hit the water. So, since then, we've got talking. Luckily, I'm a paddy dive master, and I sort of do that as a hobby and a side job. So, I can maybe help you out, and he obviously jumped on board straight away. Um, I've since been in contact with one of the instructors from the dive centre that I work with and one of the instructors there has sort of agreed to come along and come in with me and we're going to basically just go out to the GPS coordinates that was last pinged and um, he's checked that on the find my drone feature that it's got on the on the app. We're going to wade out with all our gear on um, and hopefully in an ideal world just stick our head in and it's there you know, on a little pillow waiting for us. Bullshit. But, as you know, it's probably not going to pan out like that. So, we've got our torches. Chances are visibility is not going to be too great, but we're just going to have to see. Um, so, yeah, let's just see what happens, and hopefully we can find this little drone for him. Yeah, so quickly getting over to the flight logs that he sent me. I'll let you make your own mind up here. It's just a shame. I mean, like I said, any other drone, if he had had the Mavic Pro or, you know, one of the bigger drones, this would definitely not have happened. But anything 30 mile an hour plus for these Mavic Airs, they're just going to get thrown about. And you'll see that in a minute. These 30 mile an hour winds, 40 mile an hour winds that come in are just tossing it about like it's nothing. And it's just down to the weight and the lack of power from the rotors. So, I mean, you can see he's quite high already. He's at like 65 metres um, and he's about to climb up again. And that's the first gust of wind that sort of really takes him. And then straight away, it's telling him to return to home. And then it goes into fail safe, starts to try to return to home itself, which it's trying to do now. And the wind again, there's another one. And it's just, you can see there's no stick and put from him. And it's just battering him down the valley. And now it's losing altitude because of the percentage of the battery. It's just sort of wanting to land. And then ultimately it's sort of, yeah, smack bang in the middle of this reservoir. And then this is where we're going to head out to now. Right, on my way to pick Craig up first. He's going to be the drone pilot today. He's, um, yeah, I'm sure he'll get a little bit more ambitious with my drone when he's using mine and not his own, but we'll see. And yeah, he's gonna get a bit of footage of us going in and out of the water and stuff like that, you know. Basically be the cameraman for the day. And then we're gonna head out and meet Junior and Mark and see if we can find this bloody... Yeah, you need smoking, man. You absolutely need smoking. Just saying. I'm gonna let me in there, man. Set a bit. Right, yeah, so, on the way, fingers crossed, let's go. Yeah, 
There he is. arrived now. Here's Mark, loving life. <laughs> I took the gimbal cover off, yeah. Um, I need to just change it to meters and stuff. Junior there, getting his drone back today. <laughs> yeah, so quickly we just take the drone up. want to just recreate the flight path that he did the day he lost it. So we just take it to minus 24 metres and see how far it had to drop before it hit the water just to get an idea of where it might have landed. They're just getting the uh, the dinghy ready and everything and then we're going to head out there. Craig's the uh, Mavic cameraman today so don't expect great things from the footage towards the end. Probably going to be a bit jittery and shit like his chin line Mark's not coming in with me he's going to do shore cover so I'm going to be going in on my own you get past two meters, it was about five meters deep where your drone landed. Yeah. We got out to the exact GPS location. I dropped right down on top of it. As soon as you got past two meters and the penetration of the, the sun and the, the daylight just dissipated. And even with a torch in front of me, you could just see your fingers there. And when we dropped the anchor, it's just gone. There's no current, no undercurrent, but yeah. No, no, absolutely no chance, you wouldn't even find a minibus. So, we give it a try. Shit that, never mind. Yeah, let us know if you get one. Keep in touch, you've got me on Facebook now, aren't you? If you get one again, we'll go, we'll, you know, we'll go out. Right, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Right, mate. Yeah. Right. Bye, Mark. Nice one, Mark. Yeah, nice to meet you, mate. All right, take care. See you next time. I'll come and get me bags. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You are right, love. Yeah. Honestly, appreciate it. Thanks. We give it a go. What can I say? We got out there. We got down. My GoPro wasn't working, so I can't actually show you how bad the visibility was, but. If I could tell you in inches, once I got past two meters, when the sun penetration stopped, um, it was four or five inches with the torch. It was that bad. It was like, you know, it was like treacle. So I spent 
we, you know, we spent about 10 minutes getting out there. I went down for five minutes, had a little bit of a rummage around, a bit of a mooch. And honestly, like, there, there would have been no chance. You would have struggled finding a coach without the GPS coordinates and bumping right into it, like touching it. It was that bad. So, we tried. Hopefully, Junior carries on droning and he gets another one. We're going to stay in contact anyway. And, yeah. We'll probably do something together again in the future, but yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a good day out. Nevertheless, I got to go diving, which was good, and yeah, lockdown special. I just want to thank Mark for coming out today, helping me and um, getting us out to the GPS location and um, steering the boat or the dinghy. Yeah. Um, Craig for doing the drone footage, and yeah, Junior again yeah, doing the shore cover. Make sure all the paperwork was filled out for us and what have you. Making it safe for everyone. So, yeah, like I said, we did our best. And if you enjoyed the content and you're liking the video, just subscribe, press the little bell icon, and you're going to get notified when I put more uploads. And I'll see you in the next video. Good morning. Uh, well, all afternoon. And you watched it, but oh no, why, why, why do I do that? Right, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not doing this more than right, me about half an hour away. Decent, oh, I've got gas now. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Just struggling this morning for some reason. Um, right, as the title suggests. <laughs> so. Hello, so this is probably take 50, without even exaggerating, that's how long it takes me. That is decent! I sent off for a replacement, so yeah, slurring my words, decent, but, right, so as the title suggests, we're going out looking for a Mavic Mini, decent, oh shit, you know what's that? Ah.